Hi, my name is Devin Knight, and today I'd like to teach you a little bit about the new Power BI row-level security model that's been implemented. All right, so this new security model is all role-based, and if you've worked with role-based security before, you probably know the basics of how this works. Essentially, you create a role that has certain security assigned to it. It says what people are allowed to see, what they're not allowed to see, and then you can also then assign which users you want to be able to have that kind of access. So you create the role and what kind of metadata it's allowed to see, and then you assign which users you want to have that permission. Now with Power BI role level security, it works the same way. You create a role, you assign what kind of security you'd like, but the neat thing about it is it's not just metadata, it's actually the data itself that you can apply the security on. So what I mean by that is you have different filter levels that you can choose from. You can choose to filter all the rows from a table if you'd like, so I can tell it that I want to filter every row out of a certain table. Or the real interesting part is where you can filter individual rows based on little DAX queries that you write. So say, for example, I wanted to filter out all of my U.S. sales data so that my U.S. sales team can only see their data and nothing else. Well, then I can create a role that only has that permissions assigned to it. Okay, so what I would do is I would create the role, assign what kind of permissions, and then inside the Power BI service, I would assign the users to it. And here inside of the Power BI desktop is where you actually tell it that you can only see U.S. sales or you can only see Australia sales. And you'll kind of see what I mean when we actually get into the demo here in a few moments. So there's really two steps. One, to create the role inside of the Power BI desktop. Two, to assign the security inside of the Power BI service. Now, the other thing to be, keep in mind here is the way that this data works and the way that the filtering works is it does cross-filtering across the entire data set. So if I say that you're only allowed to see U.S. sales and you go to bring in an uh, item from another table that has nothing to do with U.S. sales, as long as there's a relationship between those two tables, it's going to implicitly filter that table as well based on your security model that you've set up. Okay, so the relationships are very important here when it comes to the security model. Now, the other neat thing about how the Power BI desktop works is it also allows you to impersonate roles. So if I want to test out the security model that I've created, I can actually impersonate the role that I've created and test it out and validate that it's going to work how I anticipate it should work. So that's a really uh, a plus side here that you can test it out all with inside the Power BI desktop. So tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this and how we can implement it. And then how do we assign users to it from the Power BI service? All right, so I'm inside the Power BI desktop inside of a data model that's already been created. You can see there's some fields on the right hand side. There's some tables and fields on the right hand side. And what we're really interested in doing today is actually creating a security model on top of this data set that I already have. Now, the nice thing about how this works is you can actually create the security model on any one of the sections you have inside the Power BI desktop, whether you're looking at the relationships view here, whether you're looking at the data view, or the report view. All three of them have a modeling tab at the top that allow you to create security. So again, if I was in the relationship view, I would still use the modeling ribbon up at the top, and I can select to manage and view as a certain role. Now, what would probably makes sense to do here is to do this from the report view because we're going to test the security out fairly quickly. So I'm going to go to the report view of the Power BI desktop and then go up to the manage role section inside the modeling ribbon. So you do need to select the modeling ribbon to do this. So when you select the modeling ribbon, you will then create a role by coming over to select the create button. All right. And then you'll tell, give the role some kind of a name. So if I want to, I can name this something like U.S. sales team. Okay. And then I can tell it what kind of ways do I want to restrict this data. Now you'll see all the tables that I have inside my data model are listed here. And what I can do is I can actually hit the ellipses next to each one of these tables or any one of these individual tables. And I can tell it how do I want to apply a filter for this U.S. sales team role. So for example, I'm looking here at the sales territory table, which happens to have a country column in it. If I want to filter the data to only show U.S. countries or countries that equal U.S., I can hit the ellipses next to sales territory, select add filter, and then choose to the, do the sales territory country. And you'll see it automatically populates a DAX expression here for me that has the sales territory country equals value. And what I would do is I would sim simply replace the word value here with United States. And then that way, it's going to filter this U.S. sales team based on the United States sales territory. Now, you can also filter out all the rows from a table if you wanted to. You can see if I uh, went to this uh, temperature table here, it's called temp. If I hit the ellipses next to that table, you can see underneath add filters, you can also tell it you want to hide every row, not just individual rows, but you can hide all rows from a table by selecting hide all rows. And it uses the fault statement here to hide every single row inside the table. 
You can also clear a filter if you wanted to. So you can see there's a little indicator here showing you that a filter has been applied. If you want to clear a filter out, you can hit the ellipses again and select the clear filter option here. You'll see clear table filter will allows you to now remove that filter if you wanted to. All right, so we've got the role created. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and save this and we'll hit the save button in the bottom. And then what I'd like to do before we try out this role and test it out, I'm going to create a quick table inside of Power BI to have something that we can prove a before and after view of what the data looks like. So I'm going to go underneath the sales territory table and I'm going to bring in the country and the region. I'm going to bring this into a table. Okay, like so. And I'd also like to do this and bring in some kind of a metric. So let's bring in from the internet sales. I'm going to bring in the sales amount. And just for uh, to make it a little prettier here, I'll apply a quick formatting to this so we can very clearly read this. I'm applying a formatting to the sales amount. There we go. I will also increase the text size of that so it's very clear to see here. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got a pretty decent looking data set here. We've got some data and you can see we're looking at all sales now. If I wanted to impersonate the US sales team, I would come up to the top here where it says view as roles. And there I can impersonate another role. So I can select this US sales team role that we created just a few moments ago, hit OK, and you'll notice it filters down the data set to only show us US sales. You'll also notice the overall number has changed as well. So the overall number was much higher than that. Now it's down to 9 million. Now I mentioned earlier, this applies even when you're looking at other things inside of your data model. So if I were to bring in something from the customer table, and let's say, for example, I bring in the commute distance, and also in on top of that, bring in the sales amount, we should see the sales amount value still show that 9 million value and not the higher value that we saw earlier. So again, what that tells you is even though we don't have something from the sales territory table selected, which is what our filter was based on, we're still seeing that number applied because of the relationships that are in the model. And you saw a quick view of the relationship view of our data model that we have a few moments ago. It has relationships between all the tables. And so through navigating those relationships, only US sales are applied to this filter as well. All right, now when you wanna stop impersonating that role, you come up to the top here and step, select stop viewing and that'll remove that impersonation that you had. And you can see it's back up here to 29 million. And so what I wanna do now is go ahead and publish this model off to Power BI and then show you how you can assign users to this role that we've created. So to do that, I'll come up to the home ribbon and select publish. Tell it that yes, I wanna go ahead and save the changes that we've done so far. Publish that off to Power BI. Select the role, or I should say select the work group that I want to publish to. I have one here called blog example that we'll use. So I'll publish to my blog example work group. Give that a few moments to publish. And then once it's done, we'll go launch over to our Power BI service, which you're seeing here. And you can see that my module five has just shown up. And if I want to assign security to this, which again, you can see here's my data set that we just looked at in the desktop. But if I want to assign security uh, users to that role, I would come down to the data set and hit the ellipses next to the data set and select security. And when I select security here, I can now tell it which users do I want to assign to this. So if I want to assign one of my coworkers like Mitchell Pearson, I can assign Mitch here. If I want to have multiple ones, I can assign Alan Faulkner, my other coworker in here as well. So if I want to assign those two users, I'll click add. That now adds them to my list of users that are able to view this data set. And then I'll hit save down here on the bottom and that way it will save that to the data model. So that way, Whenever these two users log in, they're only part of the US sales team, meaning they only see US sales here. All right, now that we have these users assigned, the other thing that you can do from the Power BI service is I could test this role out. So if I wanted to, I can test it from not only the Power BI desktop, which I showed earlier, you can also test it from the Power BI service by coming up to the role that we just created, hit the ellipses next to it and select test as role. And then that way it'll take you to a view of what that report looks like that we saw a few moments ago with our filter applied to it using those individuals. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, I'll put my contact information back up. You're welcome to email me, Twitter also, if you prefer that, and ask any questions about how Power BI Rule of Security works. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care.